You are watching the Tim Kreitz Adventures channel. Welcome. Robert Piercig once wrote, The test of the machine is the satisfaction it gives you. There isn't any other test. If the machine produces tranquility, it's right. If it disturbs you, it's wrong until either the machine or your mind is changed. Lots of people considered Piercig a Zen master in his day, but he really wasn't. He was just a regular working man who wanted to better understand reality and his place in it. He was plagued by mental problems and he wallowed in misguided subjectivisms a lot of the time. That's far from Zen. Still, he had his moments of truth. I guess we all do. That quote to me has always been one of them. At 50 years old, I'm slowly becoming my own version of the insufferable philosopher. I obsess myself with attempting to assign meaning to the absurd. I try to reason with the unreasonable. I make self-important films and music. It's all vanity. I used to think I filmed my motorcycle rides because I wanted a documentation of my riding life. That's partially true, but in the process, I've figured out that I'm also trying to capture the tranquility. Again, vanity. But every time I get on the bike, the machine produces tranquility, so I keep trying. I've been riding in these mountains for decades, but exactly 10 years ago, my old buddy Britt and I started coming down here in October. The reason we make the ride then is because it's usually cooler in the mountains by October, which makes for a pleasant trip most of the time. Not this year, though. Indian summer 2020 won't come to an end. We suffered through hot, dry air and high winds just to get to one particular spot so we could replicate a photo we took on the exact same weekend 10 years earlier. It was a rough 400 mile trip with a late start, but vanity and trying to recapture the past never felt so good. Yeah, I, pa I got into the perfect place to pass the Jeep when it was not a double yellow and went around him. I got right up behind him when all that this started. Uh -huh. There's no way I get around him. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That's fun. Good times. Man, it's windy. All right, we got to take our traditional picture at this spot. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is really pretty, even though it's really dry. Yeah. You know, when Cliff and I came down here four years ago, it had been so rainy and everything was just brilliant green. Really? Oh yeah, it was fantastic. It was probably the prettiest I've ever seen it in, you know, 50 years of living in West Texas. How fast were you going? I was going between 80 and 100. Yeah, I was doing 100 at one point. I couldn't catch it. Coffee. Oh, you got a soft. You got a soft drink. Yeah. I was gonna say if you get coffee, you need to get this right here because it is awesome. 
Le Mudslide. Yeah. You got some? Someone left one laying. Still on the plastic. Looks pretty good. Nice. I'm sure it's perfectly safe. <laughs> Special cookie. That's actually a really good looking cookie. <laughs> I'm tempted to eat that cookie, but I'm not gonna. Could be a trap. Could be. Could be an Admiral Akbar cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you getting called by your clients? Tell them you're riding your motorcycles in the Davis Mountains and they can off right off until Monday. <laughs> Here, I'll tell them, give me the phone. <laughs> Surely this place has to be a historic, a well, Texas it's historical it's landmark. Wonder if it's built to look old. Or really no, old. I think it really is very old. I bet there's a plaque on it somewhere. All right, so I feel kind of obligated to explain if I'm gonna make a video out of all this why we're just sitting around doing nothing <laughs> and the main reason is because the ride was way longer and more tiring than we anticipated we took the long way which i thought was going to add like 20 minutes onto the trip not an hour and a half because of construction on interstate 20 so we took all these back roads through the trans pecos and by the time we got here i don't i mean Man, I'm ready to get a room and go back in the morning. And we gotta make we gotta make that ride back. Two and a half, two hours and forty-five minutes back. I'm just pulling this wind is behind us. And it's three rather than on our face. We should make it home around sunset. If we hang out for you know fifteen or twenty more minutes, finish our sodies. Yeah. We should be all right. Me and my bright ideas. I got a great <laughs> idea. Let's take the scenic route. Yeah. The scenic route through Forks Park. <laughs> I left the mountains with some good memories and the picture I came to take. I got to experience some moments of tranquility and attempted, in vain, to capture its essence once again. I always fail, but it always makes me happy to try, and I think that's because happiness and the absurd are somehow inseparable. Maybe that's a kind of zen in and of itself. Then again, probably not. Alright, just for fun, let's see how many miles we did today. It was a lot. And we got the crap beaten out of us by the wind going both damn directions. Alright, it is not 106 degree air temperature. I don't know why it's saying that, but the engine's kind of hot. Maybe that's why. Yeah, the engine's 194 degrees, so that's not always accurate. I uh, averaged 46.2 miles per gallon, apparently. Or something like that, and we went 398.1 miles today. 400 mile day. Yeah. Uh, sun's going down, and I'm ready to be off of this bike. Very happy, I should say, to be off of this bike. It's time for a beer and some dinner and sleep. Bye. Thank you.